Hey guys, so today we're going to be going over the new updates in Japan. <clears throat> um, we got some new units, a new job plus for Shenmei, among other things. So let's just get right into it here. Uh, so I am a little less than pleased right now. Uh, don't worry about that machinist, I just need to gather some more job mats. But um, as you may have noticed, my Shenmei does not have our job plus maxed out. Um, for any of you interested in our animation... Um, but they decided to handle this uh, job plus just a little differently than they have in the past. And uh, let's just say I am really not happy about it. So let's go take a look. We'll get into some of the other stuff later. I gotta vent first. Because this is total freaking bullshit. So you see how that says 5 out of 5? You only get to clear this quest five times a day there's three different ones there's an ex an ex plus and an ex plus plus and each one counts as one towards your five obviously the more difficult ones are going to give you more coins which we're going to get into right now uh the other quests don't give any kind of significant amount of coins in fact you're lucky to get one coin per one ap and you'll see why this is an issue here in just a second if i go into the shenmei shop You'll notice that her job mats, 80 of them cost 3,000 coins. Now, this doesn't, this actually isn't too bad if you farm it out. Uh, you can get oh, the better part of 500 coins. It's like 400 something, like four. I want to say like 480-ish. Um, I don't remember exactly from clearing the EX Plus if you get lucky with your drops. And you could always just reset to get the drops uh, the way you want them. Uh, the EX Plus is perfectly audible if you have a good team of Beastmasters or really a good team of high damage units that are capable of doing typeless damage as um most of the uh enemies in that ex resist certain damage types units like uh, pirates like uh gun lancers and beast masters are all ideal candidates for running that ex um but you only get to do it five times a day so let's just say we get 400 just for some easy math uh per run that's 2000 per day which means it's going to take multiple days, rather one and a half days, just to get one of these mats. Now, it's not as though it's impossible to get these mats any faster. Uh, if we go take a look at these quests here, uh, you can't see it on this one, obviously. But um, the second and third on this are going to give 2,000 and 3,000 coins, respectively, which is basically going to finish the job plus for me. However, you cannot accomplish this in one day, which annoys me. Because it's not as though I can pull for anything. The only instant gratification I had left in life were these job pluses. And the Setsunas and Shenmei's are both multi-day quests. And I might sound like I'm bitching about nothing much. But, you know, it's just annoying. Because it's not as though I get to pull for new units. These job pluses are my equivalent of new units. They're taking old units and making them better. It's almost like it's a brand new unit. Because that is the only fucking thing I have left. Um... <laughs> Really, it's it, it's just not ideal. It's not a lot of fun. The EX Plus is fine, I guess. It's not like it's super hard or anything. Uh, I haven't really given the EX Plus Plus a shot yet. Um, I've seen a video of it being done by Ami. Uh, I don't have all of the units specifically. I don't have uh, Aruba maxed out, but I could always uh, put my own twist on it. I can probably clear it with a little bit of persistence and uh, just time to do it. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, is that there's just it was already a pain in the ass grinding these job pluses out some like sometimes it's just it'd be nice just to not have to work hard and just get my new unit because it's like I've already grinded my Shenmei out I've pretty much got her maxed out I totally forgot to finish grinding for her gate five or her gate three rather but I've already maxed out. I already had what I needed for her gate 4 and her gate 5. And tomorrow I'll be able to get the third part of her gate 3. I'm probably not going to max out her gate 3. But I might just because I want to. Um, Shenmei has always been one of my favorite units. Uh, just just goes way back to when I started Global. I've told that story a couple times now. Um, and once she's maxed out I'm sure she's going to do decently. Uh, as, as you can see, I have the Ocean Espada, which means that I, ha I have a charge-up. Um, it's not a great charge-up, but it is a charge-up. Um, I don't really expect her to be SS tier. Like, Well, she'll be SS tier, but she's not going to be like the best water unit in the game. She's just not going to be. 
Um, her job plus didn't give her the kit that she would need to be that kind of unit. However, I do think she's going to be super solid and just a nice unit to have. Um, I'm just... I don't know. I guess I'm just disappointed because I don't like the way the EX, uh, the EX quest and the job plus is structured. Um, I'm glad that it's not another dungeon quest because if it was another dungeon quest, I don't even know if I'd keep playing the game because I cannot take any more dungeon quests. I'm still trying to grind through to get my Ambrosia shards in order to get my Ambrosia's Gate 1 off of that uh, just hellhole of a freaking dungeon quest. Um, anyways... I'll have this in a day or two, and I will do a video on Shenmei in a couple days once I finally have all her stuff. So look forward to that. That isn't really her ideal build up there. This is just some stuff I threw together for some damage testing. Like, I wanted to see what the skills did, even though I'm not even job maxed in two of my jobs anymore. So it's not as though I can even see what she's capable of like that. Um, but, anyways, let's, uh, let's move on. So let's take a look at the gachas. So, I believe you guys have seen this type of gacha by now, and you know how freaking atrocious it is, as this I'm pretty sure is similar to your Burkina banner. And it's just as bad. Um, Belta, or Bertha, rather, um, she got another Nenso, and she's like a mainstay in the uh, summer event, you know? Um, I don't know why EMIP has such a hard on for her, this unit. But she's not even that great of a unit, despite the fact that she's, like, as limited as Soul. You know? Like, at least Soul is a good unit. Ber Bel or Bertha is just... She's just... Her job just is not that great. And, I mean, it's not as though it doesn't have its uses, but its uses are relatively niche. I don't even have her, so it's not like I can farm her or anything, and I really don't want to pull for her. Now, the other unit, Sui, um, she's brand new. I haven't actually read much into her, although I'm sure she's pretty good. Um, as she is once again a limited unit, but who isn't good is likely going to be this guy. Um, shoot, I don't even remember what his name is, so let me just pull that up here real quick. Um, what I do know about this guy, it's uh, Ryushin, right? Um, and he's about as memorable as his name is. Uh, he's just, I don't know, I don't think he's that great. I mean, it's not as though he's bad, don't get me wrong, he's not bad. But he's not going to be setting the world on fire. He is a fire gun lancer. So there is that. But um, fire already has some pretty good units in it. And of the units that fire really needed. To like get on par with like how light is performing right now in my opinion. He's just not the answer. Um, who knows. Maybe time will tell. But um, his Nenso is a free Nenso. So is Sui's. Um, but let's just face it. Who is Gumi going to invest their power budget into? Ryushin, the guy who's in the normal pool, who's likely going to be like Laura and get an EX hard quest and be a normal pool unit that's impossible to Kaigen anyways. Or the Light Lolly, who, uh, you know, is hyper limited and uh, is probably going to be a real pain to get if you can even manage to get a hold of her. You know, I mean, you, you do the math here. You know, cute Lolly or pirate dude one of them's good one of them's not as good and it doesn't take a genius to figure it out so shenmei and golmaras both got new nensos both the nensos are pretty good in of themselves um i don't necessarily think shenmei's is um 100 vital for her uh, success at this point in time uh it'll definitely improve her but i don't think it's going to be make or break it's definitely going to be necessary if you want her to be able to do good like higher damage as one of the uh buffs on that Nenso is a buff to non-attack type damage modifier which is actually pretty interesting however it is a it's not in the greed dike group but rather it is in the group skill with the um, pirate units so or at least uh, for those of you who don't know Rushin and Sui, uh, Sui are like uh, Shenmei's crew ish type thing um anyways moving on we have a couple of other uh banners here we have the uh, five star unit banner which guarantees a five star unit on every step the only problem with this banner is to my knowledge it has every freaking unit in the game in it and um it's not as though uh they're like 
it's not really super rate up for the newer units or anything um it's just a total crap shot in the dark if you get anything that you actually want now there is a uh shards on the ends but you know it it's just a total crap shot it's not worth it uh we do have this summer denso however uh banner and if there was any of the summer nensos that you wanted that are in this banner uh, it's not a bad banner to pull on uh other than that nothing else is worth pulling this week um who knows maybe i'll get lucky and sack one from the free daily pool but i'm not gonna hold my breath and um what's surprisingly how limited uh belt bertha is as you can see sui has shards in the whale shop but uh bertha doesn't so, I don't know why he makes her so hard to get, but Birth is just beyond my understanding on how he wants to handle her. Uh, we'll quick go over here. Uh, there's nothing really good, to be honest, in the shops this week. We still do have the swimsuit. Uh, we still do have the swimsuits for 4K, but this this is just super laughable. So we have a 1500 paid pick ticket and let's go take a look at what's in it shenmei and golmaras 1.5k paid for shenmei or golmaras <laughs> oh that is just great that's just great uh teresa did get her og skin this week so if you like teresa good for you um it's a shame that she's not like super meta anymore as far as the coin shops for this week, uh, Shen Maze is the only new one. The uh, new tower that came out recently, if you grind it up and you're going up the second time like I am, you can grab some coins here, get some unit shards. The only unit shards here that really interested me though were uh, Veers, and I already got hers. So after that, it's just kind of uh, icing on the cake. I'll probably get like a horn and some sins or something, but none of the all the other units here are farmable. You might want to grab Laura's shards. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to even do that because even if I got her, I can't Kaigen her. As you, as you guys can probably tell, it's pretty frustrating to play Japan at this point in time. Um, it's unfortunate. It's just kind of the way it is. So that's all I have to say about the newer stuff. Uh, ongoing events, we still do have some Genesis left in us. I believe this goes on till the, I want to say the 22nd. Yes, the 22nd. So you have one more week to get through your uh, <clears throat> Genesis stuff if you are working on that. So do keep that in mind if you are a Japanese player. Let's go take a quick look at some more of the event stuff now that I'm done bitching about Shenmei and the new units. <laughs> um... Other than that, we do have a daily stage with Gull, and you can get water shards from this. Uh, so make sure you go in and get those. When you step on the chest, there's a chance it'll spawn a monster that will slow you. So make sure you have some... Uh... God, I don't even know what they're called. Like, Are they called panaceas in global? I'm not even sure. Just make sure you have a uh, status cleanser on you. Um, the Ambrosia Hell Quest is still up, so keep that in mind if you want to finish it. Um, if you do happen to pull the new units, there is a hard quest for them for this week only, and after that, they'll probably just be near impossible to farm. Uh, we have the Lustberg VCR stage this week, along with a VCR stage for the new Nensos. Uh, ongoing events include the, uh, Leona Job Plus event, which is actually, if you haven't finished farming this thing out, you might as well. Uh, it's got pretty good rewards in its shop, much better than Shenmei's shop rewards. Uh, if you did not get Dorothea's job plus yet, make sure you get that. And Golmaras' job plus is up. And the big one is Hisham Plus is rerunning for the first time in Japan in over a year. Unfortunately, it is not accompanied by his skin, which leaves me very, very sad. Not that I could even show that skin on YouTube <laughs> because of the partial nudity. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Other than that, not much else has really changed here. Uh, some quick notes about stuff that recently came to Global. Recently, you guys got the Soul uh, Nenso and Soul's Kaigen. And as you can see, I actually started to Kaigen my Soul. And uh, I obviously am not that far, and I am, like, out of shards at this point. I mean, I can 
farm one per day and uh, so according to my calculations I'll have his gate 5 finished sometime about 16 months after the demise of this game um, other than that his uh, one thing you want to keep in mind about uh, souls Nenso and a lot of these it every Nenso that came after soul almost all of them have something that give a major benefit to the max limit break like if you go back to bolts nenso like the max limit break like gave you like six jewel gain whereas souls nenso's max limit break is going to give you extra skill casts which is insane on soul as his gate two is going to give him a snowball and the more casts he has the more he can use his snowball don't forget that he also has a damaging skill on the vision ability on his nenso which is going to get a major buff to its damage on max limit break and um, there are going to be a lot of Nensos going forward that are going to have max limit break bonuses that more or less make or break a unit. Giving that unit some kind of utility or extra damage that they really needed to hit the numbers. Um, so yeah, uh, get prepared guys. Welcome to hell. This is pretty much where we're at in Japan right now. And uh, things are not looking that pretty in global either. <laughs> Although things look pretty bleak here. Um, I'm not even sure if I'm going to remove renew my pact at this point. I might just coast for a little while and see what we get. Shenmei's Nenso and Golmaraz's Nenso don't appear to be in the main pool, or they don't appear to be limited, so they should be in the main pool to my knowledge. Um, so I will get them in time, but it, it's not something I'm going to drop 22.5k on to do the 9-step banner. It's just not worth it, and even if I wa had Bertha and wanted her swimsuit skin, She's just not that great of a unit. I, I Even if I had her, I don't know if I would use her. So there's not even a point in pulling in that. I'm probably just going to save my gems for whatever comes during Halloween. So anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching this video as always. And I hope to see you next time.